Hello and welcome to the Times Ascent Engineering Mastermind brought to you by the Aditya Billa Group Global Leadership Manufacturing Program. This is a unique quiz in the country. It happened at four locations before this national finals in Mumbai today. <laughs> On my right is Gen Pact, the winners from the Delhi. Next to them is Infosys, the team that won the regionals in Pune. On my left is Texas Instruments from Bangalore and TCS, the winners from Mumbai. We will have four rounds of quizzing, okay? Two rounds would be on the buzzer, all right? And two rounds would be standard. Fair enough? The first round is basically what we call a topics round, okay? We go clockwise, okay? And if there is any initial question that is left, it will be on the buzzer. Fair enough? Okay. Now, if you are all set, 10 points for the right answer, okay? Uh, this round, there is no negatives apart from the buzzer question, okay? We'll go clockwise on the, in this round, yeah? Let's move on with the quiz. Fair enough. We go with team number one, Genpak. Look at the screen and pick a question or a topic. Okay, so we'll like to go with logos and symbols. You'd like to go with logos and symbols. We'll open that up for you. For 10 points, read the question and tell me what logos or symbol are we describing? For people who are scoring, team number one is Genpact, team number two is Infosys, team number three is Texas Instruments, and team number four is TCS. 10 seconds for a direct, five seconds for a pass. 10 seconds are up. I need an answer now. No negative. Yeah. Go ahead. Radioactive hazard symbol. Genpact has opened up the score. This is the radioactive or biohazard. I'll give it to you. Go to the answer. Go to the answer. This is the symbol that we're looking at, okay? I'll give it to you for 10 points, getting it right. Moving on, let's move on. What do you want? You have Indian, you cannot take uh, logos and symbols again. So you can choose from design, Indian PSUs, homegrown success, like an engineering success story from India. And of course, you can choose quality. Quality, technically, in also in engineering. Infosys, yeah. We'll go with homegrown success. You'd go with homegrown success, Infosys from Pune. All right. Some editing has gone into it. How Dash built Dash into a billion dollar global business in just four years. Huge success, huge. Who is this guy or what is this company? I'll give you points for either. Tell me the company or the name of this gentleman. I'll give you the points for both. It's Snapdeal. Incorrect answer. Yes, T.I. Make my trip. Not take my trip, TCS. Kya zunga? Nahi dunga. Point. They said kya zunga. Gen Pat! The, this is Mintra, Ashutosh Banchal. Achha, Mintra, Achha, Ashutosh Banchal. Nah, nah, Mintra nahi. Oh, a billion dollars. A billion bloody dollars. Naveen Tiwari of Inmobi, the company that's given, given, giving Google ad mob the run for their money. Alright? Fair enough, TI? Yeah? Now, now design. You want design and design is up for you. Yes, open it up. This is a patent. United States Patent Office. This is a design that is patented in 1954 or 44. Okay, October 18, sometime then, 54 maybe. Yeah, it's a patent certificate actually. We've just cropped off something. It's, it's, it tells you patent for certain features of the design. What are we talking about? This is the Batmobile. All right, Batmobile is 10 points. Batmobile, this is the original design of Batmobile. Is, uh, this is TCS. You have Indian PSUs or you have quality? You want to go with Indian PSUs? It's coming up for you. Yes, go for it. NTPC? NTPC is a super awesome answer. He's stunned. Yeah, so am I because it's wrong. All right, it passes to Genpact. Uh, is it Gale? Is Gale. it G-A-I-L? Or Chris Gale. All right, yes, go for it. Steel, okay. Steel Authority of India. Passing. ONGC. Oil and gas is the category that we are talking about. Golden pickup for OHSC, ONGC is right. ONGC is right. 
10 points to TI for getting ONGC right. So we have one question on the buzzer, okay? One question on the buzzer, which is on quality. Open it up. Which quality guru TCS? Philip Crosby. Super answer. Philip Crosby is plus 10. Philip Crosby is plus 10 to the teams. All right. Now, the first round of the quiz is over. Okay, guys, this round, okay, is on the buzzer, okay? Now, you have plus 10, minus 5, okay? I think you've got to put 7 questions, 6 or 7 questions, okay? The, all of these questions are text-based questions. Fair? Fair chance to all the teams? Question number 1 on your screens now. Right, Jen Peck. This is Wilfredo Pareto. Wilfredo Federico Damaso Pareto, the Pareto principle, also alternatively called as the law of the vital few, used pretty much in, in mapping and also in quality. 80 20 principle, what we know commonly, right? Okay. All right. Uh, can we neutralize the buzzers? Okay. Plus 10 to Jen Peck on getting that right. Question number two on your screen now. Infosys. Carnot. It's not Carno. I know what you're talking about. It's not Carno. It's actually a, an ideal dash cycle. It's a cycle. Brayton cycle. Brayton cycle is absolutely right. Infosys gets a minus five on this. Question number three. Ask Setu Himachalam from Cape Comorin to the Himalayas. Whose motto? Whose organization? Whose? Okay, Gen Pact again. Uh, is it the Border Roads Organization? B R O Border Roads Organization. You don't need to clap because that's not right answer. Minus five. Minus five to Genpeck. Survey of India. Ask Setu Himachalam. From Cape Comorin to the Himach Himachals. Survey of India. Question number four on your screen now. What society was founded in 1880 by these four men as a response to numerous Boiler, steam boiler machines failure. Very famous society. So to say, yes. Gen Pact is going all blazing guns. Yes. Is it ASME? The Association of Society of Mechanical Engineers. It's ASME. Fantastic. 10 points on getting ASME right. Let's move on. Question number five. Cactus. Oh man. DCS on the flash. SLK Oscar. Incorrect is not what their answer is. Plus 10, right answer on SL Kirloskar. Okay, fair enough. Last question, I think last two more questions. Question number six, longish question. The roots of this subject are in something called Surya Siddhanta. Who has gone for it, TCS? Trigonometry. Plus 10, <laughs> trigonometry is right. Ja, Kojja and Otkram Ja are sine, cosine and inverse sine. Okay, question number seven. I think we have a seventh question. Let's open it up. Oh man, Gen Pact. Uh, John Deere. John Deere. Super answer. I must <laughs> not talk about nonsense. John Deere, right, has a magazine called The Pharaoh. <laughs> Two rounds are over. The scores are this, 35, 30, 20, minus five. This round is a round that could change fortunes again, yeah? We'll go anti-clockwise, 30, 20, 10. Bit. And constant minus 15, minus 10, minus five. Bit. I showed you is a clip of a certain type of testing okay 
which has its application in, in multiple engineering industries. You gotta tell me the specific name of this test. What test did I show you here? Okay, if, if that's a clue, you can do this test both physical and on finite element analysis as well. Okay, if it helps you. This test you can do both ways. This is physical and you can do a FEA testing also. Yes, 10 seconds is what you have. It's basically for testing whether the car can withstand all these weather conditions. It's, uh... it's basically for testing whether car can take all various weather conditions. Yeah, rain and wind and things like that. No, incorrect. They did not answer the question, the name of the test. Wind tunnel test. Super, super, super Texas, super Texas. Minus 10 to TCS, plus 10 to Texas instruments. What's your bid this time? Yeah, Texas. Now you're playing like Bangalore boys. Okay. Plus 30, question number two. Okay. From the energy of the atom, invisible to man's eyes, to the vastness of the universe, staggering to his intellect, the frontier of science stretches forth. And the men of science strive to press it back, patiently, tentatively, step by step. Two of the major challenges on this frontier of science are the exploration of outer space and the development of sources of energy. And two men who can tell us about these areas of progress are Dr. Guy Suits, a leader in scientific research, and Dr. Leo Stang, space scientist. To tell us about progress... Now, he was talking about the advancements made by a certain company, right? A very famous, hugely uh, successful company in its realm. All right, and he was also a brand ambassador of this company, you know, for multiple, you know, this company also sponsored uh, the theater that he was, he was acting in. Just got to tell me, which company's frontiers was he talking about in this clipping? NASA. What did you think? Okay, don't, don't say that now. Infosys. GE. Plus 10 for getting GE right. Plus 10 for getting G right. Infosys gets plus 10. It's your time now. So you bid for the question. All right. All playing it good now. 30 points or minus 15 on your screens now. Mind in my left eye. And I've thought about the human eye because of that ever since. Um, and years ago, I was, I was riding back from church with my family. And uh, it was drizzling outside. And I had a thought. Why couldn't... Uh, why couldn't a wiper work like an eyelid? Why couldn't it blink? This is a clip from a movie called Flash of Genius. It talks about the life of a guy called Robert Greens, who invented something, right? And when he tried to patent it, his employer went against him, saying that, no, you, 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 you cannot do that, right? What is a courtroom uh, scene that you see, right? Where he says that I got the inspiration from the blinking of human eyes, right? You want to tell me two parts to it, okay? One is what was his invention, and B, with which company was he fighting this legal battle? Intermittent wipers of, in, of, of automobiles. Okay. And no, we thought of coconuts. No. Oh, any, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. GM. I'm not saying if the right answer is right or wrong. I'm just passing to Genpact. Yeah, this is the intermittent uh, wiper shield and this is Ford. I'll tell you what exchange happened here. GM of Ford. GM of Ford. GM. You get five points for getting intermittent wipers right. And for getting intermittent wipers and Ford right, you get 10 points. Okay? All right, okay, good. Genpact, what's your bid? What's your bid, Genpact? 20 points is what Genpack plays for. Question on your screen now.
your question gen packed for 20 points this clip okay is a clip from the movie called the spy who loved me all right now this is an actual car okay that was that was designed a car that that could be that could go on on the road had had uh, shooting parts and also could travel under water right now your question for 20 points is to tell me either the brand of this car or the manufacturer of this car the manufacturer is it lotus lotus the car the company is lotus it's called the lotus esprit right in the last round so we got to see the scores okay ah oh, man this is awesome this section again has seven questions plus 70 that you can get all right all of these are visual questions okay so the trick of the game is that bus if you are very sure if you can predict what the question is if you are not going to predict i think somebody predicted ronald's question last time and answered it right if you can't predict and you get it wrong that's a minus 5 yeah and if nobody buzzes i'll complete the question yeah but all clues all visuals on screen okay question number 1 on the buzzer on your screen now the logo is for bro border roads association the question is which organization's logo you predicted me and you said bro border road organization one of the finest road constructors in the country it's actually managed by the indian army doing fantastic work this is their logo they have researched on bro 10 points to gen pack bro border roads organization super super quizzing question number 2 on your screen now ah yes shortinger's cat plus 10 plus 10 shortinger tribute to shortinger from the world of quantum mechanics shortinger's cat is plus 10 to infosys question number 3 on your screen now Bernoulli's equation. Plus ten on Bernoulli's theorem to Texas Instruments. Question number four on your screen now. Uh, TCS. David Karp of Tumblr. Plus ten. Plus ten. David Karp of Tumblr. Okay. All right. Question number five. beautiful question okay this is a network of a public trans transport who's gone for it yes metro super 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 quizzing super quizzing this is how the metro grid lines are in different cities so you can see london delhi paris new york berlin that's the grid bangalore rome philadelphia that's the grid moscow tokyo seoul beijing shanghai madrid that's the grid the met the, the metro grid in different cities round of applause not an easy one to get infosys plus 10 Okay, two more questions in this round. Let's move on. Okay, TCS. This is Elon Musk Hyperloop. Elon Musk Hyperloop is 10 points. Yes, Elon Musk Hyperloop. Okay? This is the Hyperloop schematic. Super quizzing by TCS. 10 points to them. Last question of this quiz. Who's he? Yes, Texas Instruments. Ford. Plus ten. So Texas Instruments are getting Henry Ford right. That's of course the father of the production line system. Okay, now let's look at the champions. There's a tie. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not over yet. Tie breaker questions. I'll have to move on. Okay. Question. Superco. S U P A R C O is the national space agency of which country? It's a country which is India's neighbor. China. T C S. Smile. because they press the buzzer and give me a wrong answer infosys loses out tcs they and men are the runners up of this quiz it's not china it's pakistan that we're looking for all right infosys losing out let me call it runal to take care of proceedings from here on 
let me quickly call upon Mr. Sundar, who is the director responsible for Times Group. Mr. Sundar, please come over. And I will also request the chief guest today, Mr. Dilip Gaur, who is the group exec executive president for Builda Copper. And now, last but not the least, the winners, the national finale of Ascent Engineering Mastermind 2013, brought to you by Aditya Birla Group. Let me quickly invite Team Genpak, come over all the way from Gurgaon. And since TCS is the runners-up, let me quickly invite them, Team TCS. We have come to the end of the quiz and the national champions is the team from Delhi, Genpact. We will see you again with this interesting quiz next year. Till that time, this is Raj Dham signing off. Thank you, goodbye. We are the presenting sponsors for this event because manufacturing is very core to our operations. Aditya Birla Group is a $40 billion group and more than 50% of our revenues come from manufacturing-led businesses. And through this, we have a very uh, new program of uh, GMLP, which we call Global Manufacturing Leadership Program, where we identify and nurture technical talent who can take over leadership positions across our operations in the world. I think this is the biggest intercorporate engineering quiz competition in India. I really don't know whether it's biggest in the world. It was very, very exciting to really see the energy over here and all the teams played very well. Congratulations to GenPack for winning it.